Hello. Marathon Mini episode three. So I thought again, share some of my learning from well, my past week to training. As you can see uh, episodes one and two are here, somewhere here. So it's quite amazing to see what we've already learned so far and I don't even to look back at them and reflect and see how I can actually incorporate into my training today. So here's some lessons I'd share with you guys and I'd love to get your thoughts as well. Math lesson number seven is to stay hydrated. <laughs> that sounds like a really simple one, but uh, with all the training, recently in the heat wave in the UK, I've had to carry a lot more water than I've needed to. And that's just because, especially in longer runs, you want to make sure you don't feel fatigued or dehydrated or a bit sick or groggy. So the more fluids you can carry with you, the better. And I've noticed it actually has helped me a lot of my runs. The time that I felt exhausted, I felt like a slight cramp coming in some of my legs muscles. Um, water has helped or some sort of isolating drink has really helped. So yeah, my, one of my top tips. I can't stress that enough how useful <laughs> water is. For math lesson number, number eight, no one comes to a huge surprise, but music can be a really great thing to run with. Um, having recently done more lo longer runs in the weekends, I found that, especially for some of the latter kilometers, having music just to pump you up and get you excited for the last few kilometers and keep you motivated is really powerful. Um, for me personally, I don't think podcasts have made as much of a difference for longer runs. I think they've been better for me for shorter runs. Um, but yeah, find your soundtrack. I think it really helps. I think some of the um, music that you can time you're running to sometimes can subconsciously be really powerful. Marathon lesson number nine. Um, again, it's going to sound very corny. Is celebrate the wins. Um, especially for me with some of the earlier runs I've done in June. It was my first run in a while and my PB for that month, like my PB for a long time in training. And especially with injury, and you may see the upcoming weeks, some of the challenges I faced. It's, it's really important to ride those highs and um, be proud of those achievements. Cause they are all progress towards marathon training but sometimes you need that extra bit of motivation to carry you through. So yeah, that's from Arthur and that's number nine to me. And I think one of the more important ones I've learned across this journey. So yeah, thank you for tuning in to watching Marathon Minis this week. I hope you've enjoyed it. And as always, take care. Peace.